Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to Core Java Tutorials. In this session, I explain concept of strings in Java. Basically, string is a uh, sequence of characters. But in the case of Java, string is an object which represent sequence of characters. Java string is used to perform lot of manipulations on the string. In Java, string itself it is in a class. So using this class, we can do operations like comparing the strings, finding the length of a string, find an index occurrence for a particular character, and a lot of more operations we can perform. Those we can see in the later session of these tutorials. But at this point of time, let us understand string concept in Java. In order to explain this concept, I am going to create a new class and using this uh, class, I will demonstrate this concept. I am giving class name as string concept demo. I would like to have a main method in this class and selecting the main method and click on finish. In Java, you can create a string in two ways. First one is using string literal. So here I can give, I am giving name as str1 is equal to, I am giving as a value 1. And another way is string input 1 equal to new string. Here I am giving a value as input 1, let us consider input 1. Okay. Now what is the uh, difference between uh, creating using the literal and create uh, creating a string using the new keyword? Whenever you create a string using a literal representation, then the value of the string is going to be stored in the string pool. I am going to explain this concept using a diagrammatic representation. So here is the thing. Whenever you create a string using a literal, then what happens? The value is going to be stored in a special memory area called as string pool. But whenever you create a string using a new operator, then the value or the object will be stored in the heap memory. Now let us come to this point. Here value 1 or let us consider the same representation is value. Okay, here also I am modifying value 1. Okay, now what, what I am doing now is I am going to create a another string literal and I am giving the same value. In this case what happens when two strings you are going to define a same value first JVM look for is there any vari uh, any vari string value already present in the string pool. If it is present instead of creating a new object or the new memory for this the same value is going uh, the same address is pointing to the new variable also so in the case of s1 and s2 having the same value hence there will be only one copy will be in the string pool and the address is going to be pointed by the these two string literal variables but in the case of uh, whenever you create a uh, string using a uh, new object every time you create an object it will placed in a memory with a different uh, object or the address so in the case of input 1 and input 2 what happens there will be two objects will be created in the heap and input 1 is the value 1 and input 2 is equal to value 2 so why we need the string literal representation in Java means it will increase the 
memory efficiency first thing and better performance and also strings are immutable because string uses the literal concept that means more than one string variable can pointing to the single address where the value is going to be present hence by default strings are immutable in order to better understanding uh, from the coding perspective here what I am doing is I am going to compare the address of these two variables then str1 equal to str2 equal e double equals what it me going to do is it is going to compare the address of these two variables str1 and str2 if it is both are same then it is going to return true else it is going to be uh, false as these two uses the string literal representation so these two uh, literal uh, liter string literal variables are pointing to the same address so let us go ahead and run this program and you can see output as true see it is written the true but in the case of uh, whenever you create a strings using the new operator it is going to create a new every time whenever you create a string it will rip it is going to create a new address and uh, object will be stored in that address so if I compare these two addresses now it is going to be it is going to return false so now I'm running this program and you can see the first it is true because both are representing the same address but whenever you are uh, creating using a new uh, keyboard new keyboard then the uh, every time it is going to create a new address hence it is written the false okay so this is the um, basic concept of the string and also uh, by default strings are immutable because of the string literal representation as multiple variables may pointing to the single uh, address hence by default strings are immutable so that no other string cannot change the state of an object in order to maintain the consistency across all the uh, all the variables which are declared declared as a uh, string a string literal in uh, java uh, by default strings are immutable hope this concept is clear if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video thanks for watching